my friend. John. Oh, John. John. Yo, I like John so much, my friend. Oh, that guy. Shh, shh, shh. He's coming, he's coming, coming. Shh, I cool, I cool. Hi, John. I'm gonna try, gonna try, gonna try. Work till I die, till I die, till I die. I'm gonna fail and get up, cause I'm not giving up on my dream. Hey, gorgeous, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kupana Shimange, and this is how I do things a show where you send me your questions, and I'll let you know how I would do things. Now, you can take it as advice or use it as entertainment. Use it, don't use it. Take it, don't take it. Do with it what you will. I'm I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes. Now, always get the question, should I go after the man that I like? You know, is it fine for a girl to ask a guy out? Is it okay for a girl to shoot her shot? Listen, it's 2020, we can do what we want. We have evolved as women. So yes, women can make the first move. So if you, if you feel it, my honey, if you feel as though I can do this, I can fetch him, go for it. However, I just want to give you a warning sign. Warning, do not enter for these five things. There are these other ninjas walking around here. Ne? These guys, you need to be aware of, aware of these guys. These guys want you to chase them. They want you to come after them. He wants you to shoot his shot. You know what I mean? He wants you to. He's trying to make you chase him. And these are the guys you should never chase because it's not gonna end well. It's not. There are five signs that you need to look out for. Five different types of guys that you should not shoot your shot with because they're trying to play mind games with you. I'm gonna put you on the game today. But if you have any questions that you want to send to me because how I do things is all about you sending me your questions and me letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes. So if you want to send me your question, head over to my Instagram at Kopanashimange and look for this picture right here. It's in my Insta story highlights. So there's a little lavender circle on my profile at Kopanashimange. It says how I do things. Click on it, reply, and let me know what question you want me to talk about in our next video. And I'll do a video all about it. But let's not waste any time. Let's get into this whole topic of guys that want you to chase them and men that are playing games on you. Now I've seen these ninjas before. I have, I won't lie, I've seen them. I've seen their ways and I've been like, mm, you sneaky, sneaky man. Now the first type of guy who wants you to chase him, who wants you to shoot your shot, is the guy who treats you like one of the boys. You like this guy. You like this guy. You spotted him, you're just like, my type. Mm. You spotted him. And you're just like, I like this guy. And you start to build a relationship with this guy. And he gives you signs that he likes you. But he treats you like one of the boys. He wants you to chase him. Don't. Honey, you need to up your game as the girl. Up your game and you make him chase you. Refuse to be treated like one of the boys. Because what will happen is you'll turn into a friend with benefits. That's what usually happens. When a girl chases a guy who likes to treat her like one of the guys, she ends up being friends with benefits. Because yes, I like you. Yes, I think your booty is scrumptious. But I want to treat you like one of the boys. This is a tactic that gets used to make you think he's, you know, a guy with more value. A guy, he just looks just so much more scrumptious. He just looks more attractive to us for some funny reason. When we get the signals, Nyana, that he likes us, but he's still treating us like one of the boys, you know, we feel cool, we feel like we've been led into this secret little society, but we're not, it's not a good thing. Mm -mm. We think it's, a, it's not a good thing. No, 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 no. If a guy really likes you, he's not gonna treat you like one of the boys, because you're not one of the boys. You're someone special to him. And if you're not someone special to him, he'll treat you like one of the boys. And he will get such an ego boost if you chase him. Don't do that, don't give it to him. Mm -mm. The second guy that you should never chase, the second guy that you should never ever shoot your shot with is the skirt chaser. Ooh, girl. You see, what you need to do is you need to find yourself a friend, right? Or someone you know, who knows the deal about guys. You know, your encyclopedia for men. This one is you can call and be like, hey, do you know this guy? Mm, 
I heard about him. And she'll just be there dishing for you. Your secret agent. You're not that. Hey, the one who's got all the intel on all the men, all the eligible bachelors and all the illegible ones. She would just be there like, yo, yeah, I know that one. Who that one's just going to chase her. That one, Orata Banyana. He's always going after girls. He's dated this one and that one and that one and that one and that one. Look, I know girls are sneaky sometimes and she might just want to take the guy from you. But to be honest with you, you need to have a person that you can trust, whose opinion you can trust, who will just be like, girl, that guy has just been with so many other girls. You need to know. Here's the thing. There's a difference between you chasing a man and there's a difference between him chasing you. Never ever shoot your shot with a skirt chaser. Again, huge ooga boost for the man. And he's not the type of guy that you want to try and pin down. Sometimes as girls, we see this as a challenge. We're just like, yo, this guy, he's here, he's here, he's here, he's dating all these girls. But maybe if he dates me, he'll stick around with me and only me. That's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. If you see a guy who likes chasing skirts, he likes it, he finds it very easy to flirt. He finds it very easy to just, you know, shoot his shot with anyone. Don't want to chase that type of guy because he'll move on to the next girl very easily. And don't think he's going to be your project. Mm -mm. Never, 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 never go for a guy that you think is going to be your project. You'll work very hard and you might not actually get the returns for it. The third type of guy that you do not want to chase don't fall for the tricks, girl. Look out for the signals. Look out for the warning signs. The third guy that you do not want to chase is Mr. Hot and Cold. So he's hot for you, ne? So you guys go out. He takes you out on a date. It's nice. You guys have great conversation. But then after the date, the guy takes about three days to get back to you. He does get back to you. It just takes really long for him to get back to you. Mr. Hot and Cold, right, is Mr. Busy. No, I was too busy. I had things going on at work and he stays quiet for three days after a date. And you're just like, what should happen? This guy makes you feel as though he's waiting for you to do something. It's like he's waiting for you to make the first move. He's waiting for you to set the pace of the game. Mm -mm. You need to let the man chase you, especially this type of guy. Mr. Hot and Cold makes you feel as though he's waiting for you to do something. Like he's waiting for you to call him first. He's waiting for you to initiate the date. He's waiting for you to say, yo, do you want to be my boyfriend? Mm. I don't know about Mr. Hot and Cold. If he runs hot and cold before you guys are dating, he'll run hot and cold while you are dating. And that is very, very stressful. So how do you deal with Mr. Hot and Cold? You set your standards. You set your standards and sometimes it's very easy to be quite verbal and say that, hey, if you want to see me again, just give me a call. I'll wait for you to call me. Because sometimes a guy wants you to be the one to initiate. But then you can just straight up just say to him, mm -mm. if you want to see me again, give me a call. I'll be waiting. There it is. That's, you know, that's like a sneaky way to shoot your shot. You're just like, you know, I'd really like to see you again. But you know what? I'm going to wait for you to give me a call and tell me when. You put the ball in his court. You've shown him that I'm here to play tennis with you, but you have to serve, right? You do not want to shoot your shot with a guy who is playing hot and cold because you ask him out, you go out on a date and then you wait another three days for this guy to call and not know what to do with yourself during that time. A guy that you want to shoot your shot with is somebody that, you know, sometimes they are guys who genuinely do like you, but they don't know how to make the first move. You can shoot your shot with that guy, but not with Mr. Hot and Cold. Mr. Hot and Cold will leave you extremely confused and make you feel as though you have to drag this relationship along to make it happen. If you're going to be in a relationship with someone, even if you're the first one to initiate the relationship, you want to be there with somebody who's willing to throw a few shots along with you. Number four is a big one. A man who is testing you. You know, here's the thing. Men and women test each other, especially at the beginning stages of a relationship. They do this either knowing or not knowing. It's very natural for women to test men and for men to test women. But you don't want to be with a guy who is testing you on purpose. There are guys who like you and they can see that you like them back. But they're testing you by waiting for you to make the first move. It's a test. Don't go for guys who are testing you because they will continue to test you and test the boundaries. Other things that they like to do is to test the boundaries in terms of what can I say and what can I get away with with this one. If I take long to call her, will she react or won't she react? How does she react to sarcasm? 
Now, here's the thing. There's a difference between sarcasm and a person who's actually being funny, right? So there's certain humor that is actually funny, but there's other certain types of humor that is hurtful. And if a man is being sarcastic and hurtful, you need to let him know because again, he's testing a boundary. And if you don't let him know that, hey, you crossed the line, he'll continue to run those tests with you. There's another test that men do, which is the sexual test, right? He wants to know that, okay, fine. If I go out with this girl, you know, how quickly can I get in with her? You know, how quickly can I make this relationship a sexual relationship? So these type of tests that men do, the type of test where he'll see, are you going to chase me? Don't fall for that one. The type of test where he sees, you know, can I say and do anything to this girl? Set your standards. Don't fall for that one. And the sexual test, how quickly can I get in the sack with this girl? Don't fall for that one. If you see any of these three things happening with a guy that you like and you're thinking, I want to try and establish a relationship with this guy. I want to be the one to shoot my shot with this guy. Don't. He's testing you. Rather, stay where you are. Set your standards. You can let your, your intentions known that, yo, I like you. But let him be the one to chase you. Especially if he's the type to run games and to test you not the type of guy that you want to be the first to initiate a relationship with. And number five is, yo, Ngangara. He is the staring of the situation. He's Mr. Goodstock and I know it. There's some guys who know that they are Goodstock. They're just like, you are lucky to be with me. Hey, don't shoot your shot with that guy. What he does is that he establishes the fact or perception that he is of high value. You know, he's a good guy. Get good stock, you know? So you feel as though, Whew, I need to shoot my shot with this guy before he gets away. There are people who know that I'm, I'm actually a good person. I'm good stock. But they don't want the whole world to know it. They don't go flaunting it. But then there's the guy who believes he is good stock, right? He's got the good house, got the good car, raising a good family, slightly arrogant. But he's showing it and he knows it and it's his bargaining chip. Those guys are very dangerous to shoot your shot with because again, it inflates his ego for you to be the one to chase after him. And secondly, he makes you feel like you're the lucky one to be with him. That nah, -uh, girl, you're lucky to be with me because I got options. Get good stock. Never be with a guy who makes you feel like he's got options and you're just an option. And if you were to go, he's got other options. Mm -mm. Nah, -uh. we don't play that game. You want to be with a guy who feels as though he's lucky to be with you. So you work again on raising your value, being a high value woman. And then he must come after you, especially Mr. Goodstock. Mr. Goodstock must feel as though, you know what? This one matches my stock. And to be honest with you, she's not part of the options she's the option she is the one not part of the flock all right so i've highlighted all these guys that you're just like okay Kopano, you're saying it's fine for us to shoot our shot but you just told us not to shoot our shot with all of these guys who are we actually supposed to shoot our shot with shoot your shot with a guy who respects you shoot your shot with a guy who you can see that this guy just needs a nudge in the right direction and honestly I've shot my, I, I have, how do you say shoot your shot in the past tense? I've shot my shot and it worked, right? I've asked a guy out on a date before and it worked out. <laughs> and that's the type of person you want to shoot your shot with. He's good stock. He, he's funny. He respects me. But I felt as though there's nothing wrong with me making the first move on this guy. And then they after... He took control of the relationship. Sometimes a guy wants to know that you are interested too. And yeah, shooting your shot will let him know that, whoa, she is interested. Then he'll take the lead from there. But you don't want to shoot your shot with a guy who's going to make you feel as though you are lucky to be with him. Who's going to make you feel as though you've got to work your butt off to keep him because there's many skirts that he's chasing. You don't want to shoot your shot with a guy who's testing you, who's playing games with you. Mm, no, there's guys who are worth shooting your shot for and you want to look for one of those and stay away from these five different types of guys. All right, ladies, I hope that that helps you in terms of this dating game because it's serious out there. The dating pool is getting 
very interesting and yes there is some good stock who is roaming around out there and who is worth shooting your shot for be the first to get into that pool before somebody else takes your spot girl i hope that this video helped you guys all for my single ladies until next week beautiful people thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comment section down below what questions you want me to answer in our next video and we'll do a video all about it but until then thank you so much for watching i'm kapana shimange and this is how i do things Hey girl! Thank you so much for watching my video and thank you for coming through to how I do things. Now, if you have not subscribed, here is my face right here. Just click on it and you will be subscribed to my channel. It's completely free. No deductions are coming out of your account. You're just letting me know that girl, I like what you do and I want to see some more. Now, if you have not gone to my website, here it is www.kopanishmangi.com you can go there and you can get some free resources that i've created for you and some behind the scenes look at some of the content that i have especially with this video i've got some extras that i didn't show you Shh, don't tell nobody till next time thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow <laughs>